Hi friends, here Yari with uh, Third Eye Yari again for another video. And I have my two new decks here that I'm falling in love with. And we're going to use the Animal Spirit. The Spirit Animal Oracle is what it's called. Um, I'll show you. The book is like the front of the the front of the box. I love it. I oops, sorry, I hit the camera. I love it. Um, the messages are really um, on point. They really are. <clears throat> All right. Let's see which animal we have today. Beaver spirit lay a solid foundation and is uh the card number six you may want to well number six is is you know the numerology of this year of 2022 is um this has to do with um love so six let's see Six. Beaver Spirit. I forgot my little glasses. Um, Oracle Message. Beaver Spirit is here to tell you about a power living within you that is born of spirit, the source from which all life arises. This is the power to establish a sacred connection with the universal consciousness so you can deliberately co-create the world you desire. Know that it takes work, determination, and sustained effort to co-create and lay a solid foundation for your dreams. If, with spirit as your partner, you bring the twigs and branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river of time, you'll be amazed at what you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that your world will be prosperous and purposeful, filled with love and joy and rich with magic and meaning, that which you desire. That which you desire will come true to you and remain sustainably um, if you build on a sturdy foundation. Keep your intention and energy consistent and deliberate using all your resources and the energy of this wonderful protective time, productive time. Have faith for with spirit to co-create with you. Your success is assured. Spirit is your partner helping you along as you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires. What a beautiful message. I love that. And I don't know why I turned on the camera without <clears throat> getting all my stuff ready. Anyhow. All right. So we're going to put this here. All right. What did we use? Yes, and the masters too. And we're going to get some star seed oracle. I love this. Um, oh, I love all of them. <laughs> I truly do. But um, this this is very um special to me because it was my very first oracle deck. Um, my first tarot deck was a, a you know the regular uh Rider White, and I bought it when I was in college, just the other day. Just the other day. Star Ancestors, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. And if we can see, oh my gosh, in the sky, you see different creatures. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's like a sphinx here, and there's some kind of bird here, and there's another 
there's another um, Egyptian kind of uh, figure here. Of course, the pyramids. Beautiful, beautiful star ancestors. And then we're going to uh, use the angels and ancestors card for oracle cards, which is the other new deck that I got. I have more coming. I mean, I haven't purchased them, but I have them already chosen. Um, every time one deck comes, my daughter says, Mommy, you don't need any more decks. Yes, I do. You have enough? No, never enough. Never enough decks. Never enough. All right, let's see. Oh, we have a run here. The traveler. Move in a new direction. Move in a new direction. And I want to quickly see what the book says. Put this up. Traveler. Message. Welcome any opportunities to travel either to the outer world or to your inner world worlds the road you are on may be the road less traveled but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth if it isn't about covering outer distances it's about covering distances within within and you will be evolving very every single moment of it remember to keep things simple and to line your load because that will make your journey more enjoyable you are also being encouraged to see how far you've come and how you've really grown as a person because this recognition will support your will support you in going even further. And there's a good chance that along the way you will make new friends who still become companions for a lifetime. Very nice. Hmm. So it's talking about a foundation. It's talking about hidden secrets, secrets, lost wisdom, and looking a little deeper. And then this traveler is not talking about just actual travel, but travel inside. So I think that's exactly what this card is telling us to look a little deeper. And I think that help us lay a strong foundation. Let's see what Ascended Master is going to help us today. And that's going to be Father husband, brother, son, and it's Osiris. So I think this is in calling our divine masculine or masculine energy that we have inside all of us. The decision maker, the go-getter. Go get it. Yes, go get that foundation lay down go in that travel within and look a little deeper the message is starting to come out very very nicely okay so let's see what tara tara has to say picture looks like that it's 
So this is the King of Wands. And they do have a resemblance. Let me show you the box of the new of the new tarot cards of uh, oracle cards and the towel that I got I have some resemblance queen of wands inspirational it's very telling that this woman is naked but she's not feeling vulnerable on the contrary she feels very calm her face is so calm and peaceful she has all those red and oranges and yellows which speaks to the lower chakras which is you know where we store our safety net and our sexuality and 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 our strength and the believing ourselves she is holding that uh leopard so or tiger i can't tell if there's stripes or spots but it's a big cat okay so i think there's stripes so a tiger um so she's holding him very closely she's not even worried about him um you know they're definitely together they they're definitely know each other they definitely trust each other she has her her weapon there but you know it's away it's covered she doesn't feel that she needs it she has incredible muscles almost like a man so she is strong she's confident she's peaceful um in 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 her nakedness which when we see naked figures in tarot usually is talk is talking about vulnerability and she, she with all this stuff that she's wearing on her arms and on her neck and on her hair, the hair piece. I think she's, well, she's a king, queen of one. I was going to say she's loyal, uh, royalty. Well, she's a queen. Okay, Ari, get it together. So definitely she looks like a queen because she is a queen. So I think this is telling us that we need to f feel sure in our position you know looking inside and laying a foundation especially looking inside can be scary at times but we need to remember who we are our strength and that even things that may be scary doesn't need to rattle us you know, a big wild cat may be very scary, but it's not rattling her one bit. So looking inside, making that inside work, it's not necessarily, and there's the divine masculine here, and that's exactly what she's portraying. Um, it may be, it may be challenging, it may be difficult, it may be scary. But that doesn't need to rattle us in any way at all. And he, we're ha he, we're, he have a, a, a tower moment. And he's talking about self-awakening. And it's in the reverse. So it's, it, it's either a mild tower moment or it's not going to shake up every single aspect of our lives. I think that's where it's going. Is it, it might shake us up and shadow work, which is what we're talking about. It's meant to rattle us to the core, actually. But it doesn't have to destroy everything that we have in our lives. You know, it's going to shake up our foundation of who we are as a person. But that doesn't mean that we're going to look, we're going to lose everything outside of us. 
Like we don't have to lose our job. We don't have to lose our house. We don't even have to lose our relationships. All those are going to be impacted and are going to change in different ways. But there's, it's always going to be for the better good. It's always going to be for our own good and for the better good of the collective. It's always going to be like that. And this is a very interesting tower. It's very scary. It has dragons. It has, <laughs> it, has it, 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 it even has somebody here that looks like a superhero with all kinds of um, lightning coming out of him instead of getting to him I, it looks like it's coming out of him and then we have this big hand coming out of the coming out of the sky you see the dragon you see that little person right there that looks like a superhero and then we have this hand that is just coming out of the sky with all those wands and then we have that scary tower with that rackety um, staircase. I'll be scared. But it was in the reverse. So I think that's telling us that yes, it's going to rattle us. It's going to, it's going to shake us up. But we're not going to lose everything in our outer world. Now the five of wands inspire chaos we we've talked about this um and it was also in reverse there's three in reverse one of right the five of wands is always talking about chaos it's always talking about <clears throat> um a difficult situation you know like um a battle but when it's in reverse um, there's some kind of a denial or reluctance to face challenges. And this person, whatever they're wearing, looks like a pineapple. And they're, they're riding birds. I never noticed that. That's so funny. How you may have a, a deck for a long time. Don't that look like a pineapple? Um, you may have a deck. And different things in different readings um, catch your attention. That's one of the wonderful things about following your intuition. So there, there is a battle. But it's not a physical battle. It's, it's a battle inside of us which is what we're talking about. This is about shadow work for sure. And inspire action. And what, what I wanted to inspire chaos. What I wanted to say when I saw this card is, and, and I never, for, since I heard it, I never forget it. It's, it. Michael Beckwith says that it's a beautiful destruction. We have to break something we have to stop something we have to end something for something else to arise for something else to begin and that's i always see tarot moment tarot no tarot tower moments like that even if it's difficult even if it is uh something that hurt us um inside it's a beautiful moment. It's what needs to happen for something so much better to start. Oh, and we have the star. We have the star and it's talking about self-awareness. This is incredible. You cannot make this up. If I had tried to come up with better cards to talk about shadow works, I couldn't have chosen better myself. Uh, self-awareness. I'm not kidding you. Self-awareness. And usually the star, it, it, it talks about uh, hope. It talks about wish fulfillment. and But this person, it's looking at herself in a mirror, which is that self-awareness, which is what we want to get out of the shadow work. We want to see us, the true us. We want to heal whatever is broken, whatever is hurt, uh, whatever trauma 
from this lifetime or other lifetimes from the you know pass along ancestral lines we want to heal that and sometimes it's not pretty but not looking at it it's not gonna let us heal it we have to face it we have to look at it so we can heal it so um this reading is definitely 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 talking about shadow work it's about going within it's about facing our fears facing our hurts facing our traumas, wherever they come from, from this lifetime, from past lifetimes, past alone, um, you know, ancestral lines, it doesn't matter. It still impact us in a negative way. So for us to heal that, we have to go within. We have to dig deep, but we have to be in a good place. If we are completely broken, we cannot do that. We need to lay a solid foundation. We need to be solid first, right? Or somehow solid. We cannot be completely irrational because then we're not going to do anything. We have to have some kind of solid foundation. We have to have some, some kind of level ground. We cannot be in crisis. Of course, if we want to heal, we're still broken, and and this is an ongoing problem, uh, uh, you know, process. We're never gonna get it done. How um, Abraham Hicks says, we're never gonna get it done. But we have, we cannot be in chaos. So that's what it's talking about about the solid foundation, so we can travel inside and dig deeper. And hold on to that um, masculine energy. Okay, now we have to make this happen. Let's go get it. But even if we are completely in our feminine, we're solid. We're solid. We can face that because our lower chakras are good are open, are reaching to the divine. And even we can have a pal like so dangerous. And he's just there with us, supporting us, helping us. So we're going to have our tower, our, our inside tower, our inside balance. We're going to have to look at ourselves in the mirror to be able to heal. Oh, Woo. that was deep. That was deep and it was good. It was deep and it was good. Let's see some letters. I am M. C. Hmm. Like D or dim. Dim the lights. W. Wonder. G. Go inside. Go with wonder. T. Find the truth. You, you find the truth. You need to go get it. J. Just do it. Q. And I can see quick. I almost also see Mountain Dew. And I don't even like that. <laughs> I don't know why I saw that. That's funny. Maybe if some of you really, really, really like Mountain Dew, this is especially important for you because I don't know where that came from. I don't think I've ever drank Mountain Dew. 
so I don't know where that came from. So I think that was my guides telling one of you, this is really important for you. This is very important for you if you really like Mountain Dew. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and grab some. Okay. So right away, right away, we have work to do. That's the little hammer. We have work to do. We have work to do to face our karma. To face our karma. That's the skull and bones. To face our karma. To, to, to face our poison. Because we can all be poisoning at some point. Because we feel trapped. We feel trapped in this dimension. We feel trapped in this situation that we're at. Because we're scared to look inside. We're scared to look inside. But we don't need to be scared. You know why? Because there's so much love. That's an octopus with all the legs ready to spread out. And he lives in the water. So it's love. So we have so much love. Everywhere we go, we will see love. Because that octopus is so big and it reaches to so many places. So it doesn't matter where we go. It's going to reach us with its love. And then, you know, you can, you can rest assured that you have tools to help you. We have the elementals and we have crystals and many other, many other uh, tools like oracle and tarot and pendulums you know we have all these tools and you don't need any of this you just need to sit a moment close your eyes quiet your mind and talk to your guys talk to god talk to the universe talk to your angels whatever you want to call it talk to your higher self And you will find answers. And you will feel the protection. You will feel the support. Because we never, ever, ever walk alone. Never. They're always with us. And we just need to talk to them. They're there. And they're listening. And they're waiting. They're waiting for your call. Well, thank you very much, my friends. I have to uh, say how much I appreciate your comments and your likes and everybody that's subscribing to, to the channel. Uh, it all helps the algorithm, so it helps me grow. I, I think these this messages are important. And the more we do to help the channel grow, the more people it's going to reach. That's just the way it works. Um, so I appreciate you listening to the end. That also helps the algorithm and to hit that light. And if you are able and willing to share something in the comments, just that's just put, puts it over the top, right? So thank you very much. Um, tell your friends, help me out, and I'll see you tomorrow.